Hi everyone, this is Oren. I'm continuing the uh, Thanksgiving tradition of vlogging and uh, with my family, and <coughs> now I have my niece Sivan. We just saw hey. Frozen. This was against my will. I did not. This was the last one I wanted to see. But part of the fun of film is they're full of surprises, mm -hmm. and this was probably not awful. Um, however, let's um, let's start to Sivan. Um, Sivan, I know you love Frozen because when I remember, like when Frozen first came out, and I would visit Sivan. She would watch Frozen on a loop. She watched it, like, how many times did you see it? I would say a lot. I went to the doctor, and they were talking about it, and I'm like, oh, I saw it a hundred times. My dad's like, really? And I actually remember thinking I saw it a hundred times. It was probably a hundred times, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what did you like about the first film? Um, I thought that it was, um, it was very good because it was very not romantic and it focused on a bond between sisters it was not too overstimulating it had a nice it had like a good amount of detail and plot and yet not too much they took time to introduce the character before getting deep into the plot and also guys follow my tiktok it's Sivan Savoy we're probably going to be hearing a lot about her tiktok we have two things in, <laughs> one thing we don't have in common is that I do not have an idea what tiktok is other than that song that's like tiktok dj ba ba da 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 Yes. All right. Sivan Savoy. Okay, she's probably going to say that a lot. Um, <laughs> anyway, after that, so um, I have to say, I, for me, I think the highlight of the Frozen, one of the highlights of the Frozen franchise is, you have, is, uh, is Olaf, who is a side character, and a lot of, uh, a lot of cartoons love, um, they, they, they have, and, and a lot of things have, like Indiana Jones with Short Round, have, uh, have a hero who goes from point A to point B to point C in the story, like they rescue someone and they fall into a pit and they have to climb out, and the here the sidekick Olaf doesn't really do anything to move the plot along, but he just makes everything more entertaining. Yeah. Like you know. I think like without him it would have been a lot. Darker. I think Olaf, and I think in I find myself caring a lot less about the plot in Frozen Two. It's very complicated. Didn't you say yes. that? I would say yes. I feel like Frozen Two it got too much like. It got too much out of it, and I feel like what I was really looking for in Frozen 2 is more about how Elsa becomes queen, because we have such an interesting character, and will Anna always stick by Elsa, and has their sister, how is Kristoff going to be, how is Olaf going to be, are they going to stay in touch, I am... Like, but they went so much into other stuff, where I felt, I felt that I wasn't <coughs> getting Frozen stuff anymore. I agree with that. I think that one of the great... Uh, I think that one of the great things, and I do agree that one of the great things about Frozen was that it wasn't necessarily about romance, it was about sisters. Um... But it was also, but, um, Frozen was a film that had a lot of, um, um, it also, I, I, I can't remember my thought, that's part of the thing about doing it live, even though this is, like, our no third take. What, 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 yeah, what were you saying? I can't remember what um, I was going to watch I was saying, um, Frozen, I felt like, um, Frozen 2 kind of, it's, um, they couldn't get into, oh, Frozen 1. Oh, I was going to say the novelty, can I just go oh, on yeah, that go one? Oh, yeah, go to novelty. For me... There was a novelty to Frozen 1 that I liked a lot because I didn't know what to expect. This was a film that was really dark, like the parents were D-E-A-D, -D -E -E not spoiler alert, and uh, the kid, and like, the kids, like, there was, the Anna character was trying to fix things, and things were completely hopeless. Like, she was like, I'm gonna go find my sister on this mountain, and like, that doesn't work, mm -hmm. and then her fiancé, like, turns out to be evil, and, like, she's dying, and I'm like, wow, like, this is a cartoon, and, like, I have no idea how they're going to get out to it. Like, and I didn't even know what to make of Elsa, because she's, like, there are very few characters in these Disney cartoons that are, like, antisocial and, like, want to be left alone. Like, so what, so that was a novelty factor, and I think we had a sense of who both of these characters were by the end. So much that I'm not sure if I really wanted to see them in a second I, movie. I Did you want to see them in a second movie? I think I definitely want to see them, but I think that what I wanted to see a lot was just how things were going to go. And I think that they just like took us to a completely different place with all this other drama. It got. I feel like when they went back into flashbacks of the mom telling the story about the magic, why didn't Elsa go there when she was confused with the magic? And I think that the magic <laughs> that they brought in kind of took away from Elsa being so different, which was definitely a big part. Like when there was ice, everyone's like... But I feel like the people in Arendelle had already went to nature, to the um, forest and seen the ice, which is very confusing to me a little bit. But I think Frozen 2, in my opinion, I would rate it. I think it was pretty good. I don't think we're at the rating stage yet, because, like, we're four minutes into the eight-minute video. So let's, let's say the rating for the end. Um, but, so... <laughs> well, you So what you're saying is that you felt that the, rather than create a new story... They, they should have focused the more on the, the first story. Like, I actually thought they might actually, like, well, I guess it would be a spoiler, but I thought we'd actually, the parents might, like, 
come back to life or find Oh no, I hate when movies do that. But I think that, Oh, I see. Okay, okay so, so that's I think that not like movie, comic books thing. Elsa but. has experienced her emotions in different battles in it. First, she's hearing <coughs> a voice, then she goes to the voice, and then she sees a parent ship. And I think that if they'd maybe just stuck with the parent ship or just the force, and then there was all the earth, water, and stuff, then there was a fight in air and out within the force. It was just too much. You know, and it's a, it's a thing, it was so much that you had to explain certain scenes. There's a lot of mm -hmm. exposition. You know, by yeah. exposition, I mean when you have to take time out of the script or the movie to explain <laughs> to the <laughs> audience what's going on, like the earth, like... And if you have to do that in a kid's yeah. movie, I think you're going to lose a lot of people. The kids... It's not going to help the kids from their confusion. It's going to take people out of their movie. And I think the adults are probably not going to care that much. It's a I sign that, yeah. you know... Um, this is a film for both adults and kids. Mm -hmm. Ad adults have liked this movie a lot. Um, so... Yeah, I think with it, just one last thought that I have... Oh, this is not the last thought, but thought that I have to say also relating to that. Is that when they explaining, I feel like they included the earth and the water thing, the forest thing, the power thing, the fight in Arendelle thing, the ship thing. And Elsa had like a second to be like, my parents died for me, and then it was back on to this stuff. And I think that they just like found out that the parents had died or just... That the emotion fight in of the parents is what you're saying. Yeah, I, I can see that. so... So much, like I can't. It is that an enough. emotional story. I think, like you are crying a little bit at the end of the Frozen One. So, like yeah. maybe they should have. But and well, I guess this one had a more sisterly emotion. Like you know, like they're hugging and crying because they miss each other, or whatever. But you know, um, it was too. It was too like. Much. The uh, th what I also like about the film. Music. What I like about both films is it has a big regional specif specificity. Like. I, I always feel like if you're gonna portray a place, just really portray it well. Yeah, like like so Coen Brothers movies, are... like The Shipping News was a film that was, a, or I don't know, just Rango. I thought was a really good cartoon that did this well. Um, like, where have you been? Like, you've been uh, what different places? Like, such and as then... what said what uh, what countries? Italy, Ireland. Israel, I think I've been to so many. So if you places. went, so if, if you were in Italy and you saw a movie went to Italy and they did the research. They showed exactly what it was like to live in your in your in Italy, and they researched the houses and the customs and the food, and they just kind of and made the music sound Italian. Yeah. Would you, as a kid, appreciate that in the cartoon? Um, I might, I might, I might, I might like. I feel like it would almost be like educational that way. Quick reminder: follow my TikTok, yep. Sivan Savoy. Plug, plug again. All right, Sivan Savoy. Um. So. So. Um, did you, did you, did it help that it was, like, very Scandinavian? It was very Norwegian-looking. I mean, Arendelle's okay, probably maybe. Norway. You know okay. what's interesting is we that... we talk about the songs now. Um, no, no, we never talk about songs. I'm not, no, I'm just kidding. What, what songs did you like? I actually don't okay. remember any of the them. The songs, they were very, um, also... I remember one with Olaf. There was no chorus. I feel like Let It Go, maybe it was just because I saw it a while ago. I feel like everyone knows, Let It Go, Let It Go. I think Sivan's hey, trying to get her singing on here. She's trying to get a demo going. No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay go it was on. very catchy. And then it's like with all these songs, it's like so much in my feelings, in my do ba da ba da ba And then it's like quick chorus. And then it's like no one's going to remember that because it was just so much. And it was just, I felt like the songs were very storyish and not as new, unique. I think it was an operetta, like, yeah, it was because it had, it, it had very, it had too many songs and it like interrupted the plot. It was like, it did. Like, you know, it was and too it was many songs. It was my, um,. My, yeah, my sister was over there. Um, mm -hmm. Well, do you think the sequel needed to be made? Um, oh, I, I think, think we already, we already talked they, about you know, that. Like Frozen Fever? I think they maybe should have like, just kept it like like a littler thing, like maybe just like an hour thing, not even maybe. Well, a movie can't uh, be just, an hour no, it, for like running time purposes. Maybe just like a little thing. I think thing. they could have made it a, a children's cartoon. Like I used to, There used to be a spinoff of The Lion King called like Timon and Pumbaa I watched as a but kid. But they should have made it like a littler thing, just like a little bit of like Elsa is queen. Maybe just like a little plot probably, within them or like they find yeah. the ship. Like that would have been so much simpler. This is just a lot and I feel like it kind of took away from what I, well like from Frozen and what I loved about it wasn't really in there. Now I think we've talked about the songs, which they none of them were super good. I like the one that's like into the unknown. I love like the notes. Do you want to sing a few bars of that? Okay, okay, go ahead. I don't know that one very well. It's like into the end. Oh well, like, we'll we'll have to work on that later. Unknown. Okay, I think we are at a mark that is probably time to stop. Um, <laughs> we have. Um, do also, you, hey, do you have a TikTok account? Yes. You want to talk about that Follow my TikTok too, I swear. And also, okay. very quickly, I no, just no, have to no, show off my frozen still. My frozen singing still. No, no, no. You, could, you already so did so in the middle of the video. All right, hit the red button before we ruin our commercial integrity. All right, hit the. <laughs> <laughs>